interested in going, but I have a message for you uh, on this beautiful afternoon. Uh, it's uh, about five, five o'clock, five thirty, but the sun is uh, still shining, and that is that, dear saints, geography matters. The physical location where you are at present matters. Uh, within the Bible, within the economy of God, geography, your physical location on planet Earth or in a city or in your home matters. Which room you are in uh, at home matters. Where you are in church matters. And uh, I have a few uh, uh, biblical uh, suggestions or illustrations better said and illustration number one is Abram not yet Abraham Abram he was in Haran with his family a community a city of Haran and God said to him essentially what I want to do I can't do with you there you must leave your family and your associations and all this area where you are comfortable. Uh, this is my improvisation. And you need to go to someplace else. Let's just call it the promised land. And I will lead you and guide you till you get there. In other words, another geographic location from Haran to what would be uh, eventually the uh, promised land. Illustration number two is uh, Moses. Go down Moses, go down into Egypt land and tell old Pharaoh to let my people go. Why? Because what God wanted to do, he could not do there. He had to bring his people to another geographic location. Why? Because geography matters. I don't understand all the whys, but uh, God understands that. But uh, we do know that uh, God's way is the best way. So let's just pick up and leave. Well, it wasn't quite that simple, but uh, we know the story that uh, Moses had to bring the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt through the ten plagues and all that uh, through the Red Sea and we know that into the promised land the same place where uh, Abram was sent and uh, he had some issues on the way Moses didn't quite get in but then Joshua took over what am I saying geography matters and it may matter in your life some pastors can be uh, labor very hard in certain geographic locations with minimal fruitfulness but when they go to another geographic location the same person the same ministry the same personality the same for our problem when they go to another geographic location fruitfulness response geography matters the other illustration I have is uh, Elijah Elijah had it made he had a picnic every day by the brook all the water and uh, he had uh, air air service with the uh, with the food that he was going to eat and uh, so he was uh, learning I guess to sit back relax and uh, by by the by the uh, water drying up there was an indication to him that uh, this is no longer my place and God says Elijah change your geographic location Lo no longer is your place there it's at another place where well it's at a, a widow's home well that doesn't look very promising or sound very promising and uh, wh what does she have well she has a Jewish pancake 
or materials to make that. In other words, it, it didn't look very promising, but um, he picked up and he went to the uh, the widow's home, and uh, that's a whole other story. But there, he found God's provision, a never-ending provision, while he was there. We know because geography matters and is written in the Bible. We can go to uh, another illustration of Jonah. The Lord said to, to Jonah, go to uh, Nineveh, another geographic location. Take a boat trip and go to Nineveh and preach to the people there. Jonah preferred Tarsus. Not Tarsus. Why? Geographic, uh, geography matters. God said, go to Nineveh. Well, again, we know the story of God's ability to persuade Jonah to forget Tarsus and go to Nineveh. And we, we know that the whole Nineveh turned to God because he was obedient. Now we can go into the um, New Testament and find uh, similar situations. When Jesus wanted to meet with the disciples, he told them he had a geographic location. He didn't say, oh, find a, a place, some place where we can get. No, he had a specific location in mind where to meet them. And of course, they met uh, there again on the day of Pentecost. And we know what happened. Why? Well, geography matters. They had to go from where they were to another geographic location, in this case the upper room, where God met them there. And of course the last illustration I have is uh, the banking issue. The disciples had a a tax issue. They had no money, but they had a tax bill. And so what were they going to do? Go to the bank? Well, uh, Jesus said, you know, I don't think uh, the bank is where you're going to find God's provision for you. Another strange place? Well, why don't you go down and catch a fish and look in the fish's mouth and there will be your provision for your tax bill. And of course we know the issue. What am I saying, dear friend? I'm saying that if God changes your geographic location, it matters. It matters where you are. Uh, by personal, um, uh, should I say, testimony, is, you know, I pastored a church in uh, New York and, uh, you know, I was happy there and so on, and through a series of uh, uh, circumstances, I, I could no longer remain at that place. And transition is always difficult. You know, pack your bags, change your mentality, uh, go from the known to the unknown. It's a difficult time, and as it was for me as well. But I... Uh, I left my pastorate and went to uh, another church where they did missions trips and I just went to tag along. They went to Peru and I loved it there. Yo hablo español, yo estudio español en la escuela, dos años. So I studied Spanish and uh, of course that was their language in Peru. Loved it there. Would have stayed the rest of my life there. Then we went to Romania. I spoke no Romanian, but lo and behold, uh, the one spiritual leader in particular, uh, pastor brother Yonel Tutsak invited me to work with him here in Romania. And uh, since I was doing nothing in particular at the time, I accepted his invitation. And geography matters. I ministered within the four walls of a church. Now we minister to this nation and beyond. We've been in Poland, the Czech Republic, 
Germany, Austria, Serbia, France. And uh, what God did is, why? Geography matters. And so be encouraged, dear friend, that when God changes your physical location, it can be across the street or across the world. Geography matters when it's in the will of God. Thanks for listening. God bless you.